So guys, what is happening? Welcome to another video where today we are in Fallout 4 and basically today I'm going to be doing um, like top 5 tips building as you can see I've still got this building here because I got rid of it um, but basically top, top uh, 5 tips for building build, uh, multi-story buildings like this one um now before I go into like anything in deep in depth um there's normally these type of floors and basically I'll just show you guys all the ones of each one so this is a wooden one go to the metal see if there's metal ones I don't know whether there's metal ones or not I doubt there is. Uh, concrete ones is what floors are these? And there might not be a. Yeah, I don't think there's a. Basically, they're the two upper shack. Bit. They basically got a line in between them, as you can see, and you'll know whether you've got the right ones because it's doubled up. So I'll just I'll just show you guys. Right so let's say we're gonna build wooden floor on here. Let's say we're gonna build like a two-story house or something. Uh, so what we'll do is just go like that, just make sure it's lined up because I might keep it like that and then just go just fill in the rest that's probably going to lag because I've got a mod so it, I can it basically put a lot more than required well normally you're allowed and pretty much concrete all the way around so Anyway, onto walls. I'm gonna use concrete walls as I normally do. So, just gonna. Well, we're not. Since it won't let me. I'm just gonna use these. something like this or something sometimes you do it in the middle but I most of the time do it on it this side floors again yeah shack now as you can see it's actually it's got uh, two there and just to uh, match that you just put that there like that Um, now, yes, you can use like these, but you've got a gap. So, unless you want a floating second floor, then, which some people might want, um, but if you want a second level, which is hovering, then you do that. Um, second tip mm, is um, try going from the top downwards. As you can see, I've got only wires around this one and the top one. I'll show you guys right now. As you can see, wires around the top one and wires around the bottom one. Mainly because somehow, because this is four stories, um, the power from these conduits can come down to here. Because I believe they can one conduit can cover two floors. And the power from some of these were actually powered from the ones on the fourth floor, and some are powered from the bottom ones. The only reason why I put the wires around the bottom one is because it wouldn't work otherwise. Now, um, tip number three. Um, tip number three. Hmm. Um, this is what I've found 
what I like the most is having walls around my settlements. Obviously, you don't have to, but um, I advise keeping most of your defenses where the enemy spawn points are. Now, I believe there's only one or two where at sanctuary. I believe one is. I know. Well, actually, I know one is over here. And I also know there's another one on this side somewhere because I got attacked by a death claw over here some once. So yeah, and don't. Also, if you want to make a load of money, then yeah, you can do that. But yeah. No. We have a minute. Really? Hey. Need something? <coughs> I'd still like to have that talk. Do you have time now? Um, later. Maybe later, okay? Sure, I understand. Maybe later then. Um, but yeah, if you want to make money, make sure to put a load of a uh, water thingies down. I haven't actually gotten. Up all of the ones what are actually there. Oh yeah, tip four actually. Uh, t that isn't that wasn't tip four. Um, is to get your settlement to 100% happiness. You need at least 12 to 13 bars. Um, about 24 settlers of these. 24 food. 13 bars, and then you can just put everyone else on something. I also make sure you don't have too many robots about because apparently that gets rid of you. That puts down in your thingy. Also, Voltec thingy is here. You know what? Since we talked, I'm feeling swell. Look at the two of us here in Sanctuary. Prepared for the future. Anyway, that's Four. Number five, try and get as many resources as possible for your main base. For example, this is my main base up here n at the north area, which has been hit for the like past two games I've done it for now. Um, yeah, make sure you can get as many resources to your main base as possible, and then use supply lines to use get your resources to the other bases so if you want like your merchants and that coming in and out then you can do that also if you want to do it then yeah, you can do this 2.0 there isn't a point so I can put a star yeah I believe that is it that was the fifth and final also that is the water purifies is a way to make money so you can also copy that if you want even though I didn't make come up with that idea but uh, it it actually gives you quite a lot now if I find where don't ask how I've got so many <laughs> hashtag mods um, I've got 125 right now and bear in mind you can p pick it up and get come back later you can just save up over and over again that's actually how I made money in my legit one before I sold for that and then got it back again. Um, can you be quiet, Ada? Um, and then I ended up finding the uh, duplicate um, fusion cores, and then I just did that. But I might as well show you guys that since I've mentioned it. So if you haven't gotten Brotherhood yet, down that the Brigham and that and then at Boston, make sure you've got them because otherwise you can't do it and yeah once you've got that you want to go down to Boston Airport you can the Pridwing comes past once you have killed Kellogg I believe yes once you've killed Kellogg the Pridwing comes over so I believe that that's about halfway through the game so if you want to set that as your primary target I don't know you can if you want um, Now it's probably going to take forever to load because it got um, 
takes forever. Would be hey. nice to fly away and leave the Commonwealth behind. But is there anything worth seeing out there? Oh, I Liberty Prime. Well, I believe it's I this one. Uh, right, so it's either one of these two, I can't remember which one, so let's go that, go come out, and then go back in. Sure. Get anything worth bragging about. Okay, turns out it wasn't this one. I think it was the evil one. We may have liberated yep, this is one. Well. We've got five barrels. Well. Because you can go back here. So you can just keep doing it. If it's your first time, I'd recommend um, uh, saving it after every one or two of them. So it's this one here, facing the ocean way from the crash plane. So, yeah. If you did enjoy this video, guys, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you are new to the channel. And apart from that, I hope you guys enjoyed and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye Liberty Prime!